Hi guys, I recently came across a video of a similar title to this one of a girl who was tired of the system, decided to quit everything and go traveling. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. But because I have done such a thing, not once, not twice, but actually three times, I thought to tell you about not so much the actual experience, but on what happens after. Everyone talks about the highlights of traveling, of leaving everything behind, but not so much about that at some point you're gonna have to come back to a real world and it might not be as pretty and exciting anymore as you thought before you went backpacking. There are high chances you'll find yourself in exactly the same place as you were when you left off, just in the different circumstances. My first quit everything and go elsewhere was when I was 18, 19, when I moved from Poland to the UK. When the opportunity opened up, I thought, oh, it's a great thing to do and I'll close one chapter and freshly start another. And so I left with 30 pounds in my pocket. The second time was not long after that, it was when I was at university and my course involved one year uh, placement abroad and I've selected the furthest place I could possibly go to, which was Australia. Going there, I was sure I will escape the boring life. I wasn't really giving a second thought of what will happen when I come back because somewhere in the back of my head, I was hoping that I will never have to go back. Even though Australia was beautiful, Surprise, surprise, I wasn't happy. I didn't find what I was looking for there. On my return to the UK, apart from feeling that you know, all this stuff boiling inside of me, I also had to find a place to live again, a job again, and the perspective of spending another year, at least at my final year at uni, in a cold and rainy UK. It was absolutely hard and <laughs> pretty depressing and I was already starting to plan another trip which I took right when I finished my uni. I quit everything again but like really really I quit the city I was living in, I quit the apartment, I quit a job at the time I even left a boyfriend uh, here in the UK. At the time all I wanted was to go as far as I can again because I was dreading a lot of things I'm gonna have to confront and decisions I'm gonna have to make. I hope that going for three months uh, traveling to Southeast Asia will clear my head a little bit and help me with this, but in reality, it, that was the worst return out of all <laughs> three times I left, because when I came back, the things I was dreading turned to be much worse than before I left because I forgot how much I was dreading them and these were actually referring to the relationship and the all other personal things I had at the time. It wasn't until sometime later when I was going through a breakup and uh, <laughs> all the, a lot of stuff were happening in my life, I had this nudge to leave again. This time was different because I couldn't go. That was when I was totally forced not to live when things go hard, but actually take a full responsibility of what's happening, of how I'm feeling, and to get a grip of the mess in my life, which was becoming more and more apparent. Today I know that the reason why I had that nudge to leave was because I was trying to run away from something, whether it was an abusive household, a bad relationship, or just myself, it was a form of escaping. It all caught me when I had no possibility to run anymore, and I just had to face it. The way life works is that 100% of us who are trying to run away from something will be caught by the very things we are trying to run away from earlier or later. The places might change, the faces might change, but the stuff that we were trying to escape from until we face it is going to keep coming back to our life. So the girl from the video who is trying to escape the system I'm afraid that uh, I don't think this is going to work in the long term. I don't think it's going to fix anything within her. There are obviously a lot of things wrong with the system that we live in. She was specifically mentioning the 9 to 5 job and you know all the boring life that we uh, are born, work and then die. But I believe that the way to change it is to enforce the change from within and to be an example from within the system rather than trying to escape and run away from it because the reality, this is what it is just now and earlier or later we're gonna have to engage with the bad system in some shape or form. So there is no really escape from it. 
unless something changes from the inside out. In the past, thinking about that steady, boring job was making me feel quite rebellious. But these days, I don't know if it's an age thing, but it brings me the sense of peace and security. Obviously, I don't base my peace and security solely on a job, but it helps for me to be able to plan a few months ahead. I think I'm just getting old. <laughs> anyway, uh, it might not be as extreme for everybody, but when I finally understood my mechanism of trying to escape things, I, I had to examine the reasons behind it and it led me to discovering that uh, I am an adult child of alcoholic growing in a dysfunctional home and that's the reason why I felt so uneasy inside and I didn't seem to be able to find my place. Only when I stayed in one place, stayed planted, I went through a therapy for adult children of alcoholics. That's when I found happiness, peace, joy and excitement right where I was. And I stopped having the need to leave whenever it was hard and thinking that elsewhere is something better for me. Even a wise book has a verse saying, Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of the fool are in the ends of the earth. I was that very fool, which was looking for answers at the end of the earth, while I didn't realize that wisdom I needed was right in front of me. I'm absolutely not saying that traveling is bad, and if we have an instinct to do something crazy in our life, uh, we shouldn't just get up and travel sometimes, but it's wise to examine the motives behind such extreme moves because it can save us a lot of energy and stress, time and money, obviously. Summarizing, I think the main journey we've got to take is the journey within to fix all the problems, <laughs> brokenness that we have inside because until that, nothing from the outside will be able to make a difference. Of course, if you really want to go traveling, if that's your dream, absolutely just go and do it. You know, the world is open, but it will be great to have a higher awareness of what drives us to these decisions. So if you ever find yourself wanting to quit everything and go traveling, just know that majority of the times grass isn't greener on the other side. And sometimes staying right where you are, working through the problems that you have right now can have uh, better results than uh, flying around the world and returning back to the same place as you left from. Have a great week, everybody. See you later and uh, greetings to all the past and present travelers. <laughs> Bye.